Hello everyone. I'm going to be trying this new snail mold that I got from, Les, um, from Let's Resin. And I've already put a little bit in here in the bottom of this just to kind of save a little bit of time. So I'm going to kind of just repeat what I did there and um, kind of show you what I'm doing. Just putting some clear resin. I'm using um, Naked Fusion Diamond Clarity. Um, today for my resin for this and what I'm doing is um, I am adding to this clear resin some little dried flowers and things okay just like some little bits and pieces of petals and this is going to be uh, for my snail shell I wanted something kind of light and pretty and springy so I chose just these little soft pink flowers. These came from Hobby Lobby in the UV section of their craft department. They had all kinds of um, dried flowers and things there. And a lot of times you can find sales on in that department for 50% off or so. But uh, Anyway, so yeah, I'm adding those, and also I'm going to add um, a little bit of baby's breath, okay? Not a whole lot, just a couple snips of it. I got some static on the side of my cup here. Come on, little guys. All right, I'm just kind of putting some in there. Kind of mix with the pink. Okay, I think that should do it. Use my little stick here, I guess, to get these off the side. And I'm just kind of slowly stirring them together. And um, let's see. Too many bubbles in this one. Okay, so as you can see, it's pink and the baby's breath. And I think I want a bit more of the pink flowers in there. Something kind of there. I don't want a whole lot, but I don't want it, you know, to cover it. I do want some translucency in my resin and for my shell. Up some of these little pieces I got in the bottom of this container. Okay. Put those down, stir them around in there a bit. Okay, I'm going to let this sit for a second and thicken up, and I'll be back. Okay, this has been sitting for a couple of minutes. So I'm going to kind of give this a little stir. It's not quite thick, thickening up quite yet. Can you see inside of here? The flowers? Kind of pretty, I think. Okay. This is, this is starting to get a little warm, our other flowers here. So I think I'm going to go ahead and pour this, add this to this in here. Oops, I'm in a big bubble. How am I going to do the snail, sh the snail shell? I'm not, I'm not wanting to go over that line. And it's kind of nice. They've got a, a really great little um, cutoff spot you can see in here with, where the shell ends. So if you want to do the body of the snail a different color, they make it pretty easy to keep your snail, I mean your shell part, kind of contained into one area. Okay, so that is going to be our shell. You can see inside. 
Okay. And I'm going to just um, make sure that it doesn't all float to the top. Right now they're all just kind of hanging out in there in the right spots, I feel like. So I'm going to go over it with the heat gun really lightly. I don't want to curl our flower blossoms. So, um, yeah, I'll be back probably tomorrow to do the next step. Thanks, everyone. Hello, everybody. Okay, so the inside of our snail shell has cured, and we are ready to do the next layer. So what I'm going to do is way down deep inside of here are the tiny little holes that will be his, like, his little antenna, okay? So they're kind of deep. And so before my resin gets too warm, I'm going to want to try to get it down inside of there. I'm going to do a little squirt of alcohol ink, or alcohol ink, just alcohol down inside that head and see if I can get maybe a bit of it to go down into the little antenna part. And then I need it to dry before I pour it in there, pretty much. A little bit out will be okay. I am going to pour a bit of my resin, to make it easier to pour, whoops, in here. And then I'm going to just pour this down. I'm going to tilt this snail this way and see if I can just get it to go down into those holes kind of easily with hopefully not too many air bubbles in there. I'm going to take my stick and kind of, I'm going to take the end that's not sharp, this is a skewer, but I'm going to take the flat end side and see if I can just kind of poke it in there and get it all the way to the bottom with, get, without a bunch of bubbles. Okay. okay, so what I'm going to do instead, besides make a mess, okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of these this little bag that I got from Hobby Lobby. Okay, these are just imitation pearls and they come in a bag and I'm going to pour some of this into my resin and mix them together in there. See if I can get these all coated pretty well with the resin. There we go. And I want to have, I'm going to have these pearls be our base. I don't know, what do you think? Do you think it needs glitter or something in there with it? Or just the pearls? What do you think? Just don't know. So, let's see, it'd be like this. I think we're going to do just the pearls. I don't know if it needs glitter. Gosh, what do you guys think? I love glitter, so as you can tell, I have, I probably put too much in usually, but I guess we'll do just maybe a little bit of this. Glitter flakes, maybe? Should we try just a little bit of silver in here? See what we think? You can always not do it the next time if it doesn't turn out right, right? Let's put a few in there. Get a little sparkle. Not too much. Let's see. What do you think? Yeah, that actually might give it a little bit of, um, just a little bit of something. See it there? When it's stirred together, kind of gives it a little extra something in there. I'm not sure that's quite enough though. What do you guys think? Do you use a lot of glitter in your resin? I would like to know because <laughs> uh, sometimes less is more and sometimes I forget that. Okay, so that's quite a bit there. It's mixed together pretty well and I think the best way to do this now is to go ahead and pour it. I'm going to run my heat gun over this little cup real quickly. And there we 
we're just gonna take it from there and see what happens. There's a lot of little nicks and crannies in this mold. this is going to be too deep for this mold I mean for this um, resin this is not a deep pour resin that I'm using however Naked Fusion does make a deep pour resin that I need to like try out because there's a lot of things that I like to do that would be so much easier if I wouldn't have to pour in several layers you know what I mean things that could take one day um, are taking me two days and sometimes three days because I have so many layers to some of this stuff. Okay, there we go. All right, and so I'm excited to see how this little snail is going to turn out. I'm not sure how it's going to be to take it out of the mold because, like I said, there's a lot of little nicks and crannies in there, and there's the antennae at the, or the antenna, or the eyes at the very bottom. And that definitely seems like a tight squeeze. I'll run this over again with the heat gun in about five minutes. And then I'll just kind of keep an eye on it. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow and we'll demold this and see how we like this mold. Thanks everyone, see you tomorrow. Hello everyone. Our little snail here is cured, so we are going to go ahead and demold it. I'm excited to see how it turned out. And I'm not used this one before so hopefully we can get it out of the mold here okay looks like some of the sides are a little bit soft still but i think it's going to be okay to take out of here let's see get this out it's a lot of little little places to go to this mold. A lot of little crevices and things. So I think what I'll do is I'll take some of my alcohol spray. This one is a bit tougher. Let's see if that helps. Moisture out of there. Help break the seal. Let's see here. Do this without without ruining the mold. Okay, gosh, that really helped a lot. Okay. And oh, oh, oh! I forgot about his little tentacle things here. I want to pull it right off of there. Come on, come out of there. There. there we go. Oh, yeah, put that one kind of hard. <laughs> it kind of like I almost pulled it right off of there. Okay, well, maybe I can kind of fix it. Okay, anyway, here he is, or she, I guess. Let's turn her over and see how it looks. Oh, wow, look at this. Yeah, we did the the little pink dried flowers and some baby's breath in here. So it's kind of a shabby chic look in the snail, snail shell. And then we did the pearls and the glitter down below. And um, I think it turned out really cute. What do you think? Here's the other side. So cute. So, so cute. Wow tells me I'm gonna probably be doing some more of the snails. I really like that. It's really cute and I'll have to think of some different ideas of how to fill this shell here. Um, it might even look kind of nice filled with the shells but anyway I think it turned out really cute with the little dried flowers and the baby's breath and I think that his little eye here or whatever that is is gonna be okay. Anyway there it is. Thanks everyone. I hope you enjoyed making this with me. See you next time.